Can you please take me to the salon, please? Hello, Joshua. Can you imagine? That guy didn't call me back. Come to my house. Let me give you the gist of what happened. Ah, how far? Like, you cannot... You can't... Are you... <laughs> you can't be the fallback guy. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah. I surround my soul. Hi, guys. You are welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy for the love and support I got on my last post. It means so much to me if it's your first time here please do well to subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing this channel so guys today we're going to be discussing something dear to our hearts probably some people must have experienced this in the past or currently experiencing it right now the dreaded friend zone <laughs> when two people are friends but one person wants more than the actual normal casual friendship then that is the friend zone so the friend zone is usually gender neutral but the guy is usually the victim sadly and the lady is usually his object of desire now if you've ever been in this situation or if you're in this situation and you know that somebody has deep affections for you you can see it like it's obvious nobody say like you know but you just want to string them along just because it's unfair you might say you're not hurting anybody and you have no intention to hurt anybody but you're doing so if you can't just tell them straight up like hey this is what i want okay i like you but as a friend it might sound bad you might not have the intentions of hurting anybody but if you can see the signs, if you can see how they stare at you, how they do what they do for you, and you just enjoy the attention and you just feel it's better for you to ignore than say anything, knowing that you might never ever pick them or they might never be an option to you, then it's unfair. That being said, today I'm going to be teaching some of the victims how to get out of the friend zone, how to go for what you want. Before I continue, it's important to know that as much as you want this person to notice you, you shouldn't change yourself. You shouldn't try to be who you're not just to win someone's love. Else the person is falling in love with the idea that you have created and not your actual self. And how long can you move or how long are you going to keep up with the act? So if you know you want to, you know, get out of the friend zone, here are some tips for you guys. Number one, please, you need to flirt, okay? Guy likes girl, girl makes her hair, and guy is like, ha, this your hair. Is it for one of your boyfriends? If anybody tells me that, I'm like, ah, what's this one? <laughs> like, you know, mix signals. You need to put it out there. Your hair is beautiful. Ah, fine girl. Like make the girl feel good you get if you try to avoid that if you try to not play the card of flirting you're just going to remain what you are a friend who she doesn't think find her attractive a friend who is just there as a friend and you don't want that do you secondly you have to be confident you have to you know what you have you know what you're bringing to this table this very big table don't hide yourself okay it's possible this person hasn't seen a whole lot about you because you're shrinking yourself you're trying to watch your steps not to offend them or something you need to be confident in yourself and please when i say confident i don't mean you should go about being overly confident being you know proud and you know showing so much ego especially if that's not you know be confident in your skills there are things that make you confident probably the way you care for people you know be confident in how you express yourself your emotions the things you do confidence is sexy take it from me there is nothing like someone who tries to hide you know tries to feel like ah, i'm not good enough people don't find that attractive so you need to be confident you like something you go for it thirdly you need to Take a step back, you know, don't always be available. <sighs> Hello Femi, uh, please, I want to make my hair, can you please take me to the salon, please? 
Hello, Joshua. Can you imagine that guy didn't call me back? Come to my house. Let me give you the gist of what happened. Ah, how far? Like, you cannot, you can't, are you? <laughs> you can't be the fallback guy. Where do you belong? If you know where you belong, stand there. You cannot always be available. Take a step back and let them miss you. Okay? Let them know how important you are. Let them know that, ah, he's not always here. And whenever you come around, you know, they 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 are happy so you need to take a step back while you're taking a step back don't just take a step back and then go to your house and you're just thinking about the girl or you're just thinking about the guy no if you're taking a step back try to focus on other things try to keep your mind off that person try to keep your mind off that person focus on other things focus on hobbies it might be difficult but in the long run, it's the best. Remember, absence makes the heart grow fonder. As much as you love being around them and you love their company, you cannot always be available. You cannot, okay? Number four, you need to set boundaries. You might be the guy for just gifts, you don't know. You might be the guy for when she's hungry and she needs food. <laughs> You might be the guy for when she just needs company, somebody to talk to. You need to set boundaries. This person can't keep taking and taking and taking from you. You need to set boundaries. This also goes in line with knowing your worth and knowing that you cannot always be available. Okay? If they need you to always pay their bills every time, but whenever you try to show anything about how much you care, about how you feel, they shut it down, then maybe that isn't even for you. If you want to get out of the friend zone, you need to put it out there. Like, this is me. I'm here for serious business. It might take a lot of courage, but you would be happy at the end of the day because if you do that and the person starts to understand where you're coming from, good. If you do that and the person is like, I beg, I beg, I beg, what's that? Uh -uh, how much did you buy for me? No, be rice, 250. Eh? Because you took me to Chiki Republic. Then you know where you stand. This fastens everything and it makes it easier for you so you need to set boundaries okay you cannot be the guy for just ice cream you cannot be kunle fish and chips you cannot be emeka fish and chips <laughs> you cannot allow this person use you like that and it's also important for you to remember that if you suppress this emotion and you just continue to do for them do 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 they they keep taking and you keep giving you're going to be drained and one day there might just be an outburst and you just say how you feel and this person would not know because she never really said anything about how you felt in the past you know so it would be like where is this coming from it might end up ruining your relationship ruining your friendship so it's best for you to set boundaries and go by them now another thing is to not put this person on a pedestal okay they have flaws people have flaws people are broken people have issues it's possible you're seeing this person in a different light oh she's this she's that he's this he's that but if you look into it they have flaws they probably like space in a relationship they don't like they don't like a clingy lover and you might be a clingy lover like me you know for some people it's a turn off and you probably not know because you haven't done your research well when I mean research like you haven't noticed those things about them it's possible they don't like to communicate in a relationship you know when there's a fight they just need time to clear their head and do their thing but you love communication now assuming you don't see the signs and you try to win them and they're finally yours and then the relationship starts well then after a while you start to notice these things you start to complain this wasn't what i knew this wasn't how you were and it's going to be bad because you end up ending the relationship losing the relationship losing the friendship you had before now so maybe you should just remove the log of lust and love from your eyes and see this person for who they truly are flaws and all Let's assume you've tried all these, you know, you're out there, you're confident, 
you are, you are flirting enough you set boundaries you try to make them miss you and you finally said oh i like you you know i want us to have something serious something more than what we have and this person says no i just like you as a friend <laughs> now you have two options take it as it is you know go along with the friendship or you walk away now walking away doesn't mean you block them you know you're aggressive although for some people that's a coping mechanism but that is not healthy that is not what i mean you give them space you need to give yourself time to heal okay you need to give yourself time to heal because rejection is not easy for the giver and the taker the person rejecting you would probably feel bad you know nobody wants to be the reason for another person's heart so the person would probably feel bad for rejecting you it's not easy so you need time to heal if they care about you if they genuinely care about you this person is going to understand that you need space now while you're at your space don't go wallowing in self-pity try to engage in other things reach out to some of your friends that you cut out you know try to be involved in hobbies activities just something to boost you up something to make you feel better and heal faster and also put in mind that maybe you guys are not meant to be there's a bigger picture out of all of this there's always a bigger picture if it doesn't work out with a it's going to work out with b it probably will work out with a and then a would realize later on but right now a doesn't want this so you need to just walk away have the courage to walk away focus Focus on other interests, other things that make you feel good. You know, focus on those things. Try to be out there. Try to do what you have to do. Try to feel better. Hang out with your friends, the ones you shut out. Don't try to wallow in self-pity. It's very important. Hang out with the people you have forgotten. It's possible that in your circle of friends, there's somebody you have put in the friend zone okay so these things happen i hope this was helpful to somebody out there even if it's just one person it's a huge deal for me please put your opinions and everything down in the comment section if you have any other contributions you can help because people actually search for these things nobody will probably come out to say i need to get out of the friend zone but that's why i'm here so to like come your way next time, it's Chine Anoka. I love you guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can't keep coming and going. Just subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when the video comes up. See you guys in my next video. Much love from me to you guys. Bye. <laughs>